So a little while ago, I made a video talking about five amazing modules for Foundry VDT. And while I made this video, really what I had in the back of my mind were the modules that my players loved. So these were modules that when I implemented them into the game, my players actually said something to me about how awesome they were or how much it improved the game. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take a different approach and I'm gonna choose five modules that I think are very useful and they might save you time and improve your game. So I'm going to start with the module called Search Anywhere. And essentially you can put a key binding in. So for me, it's the I button. And then when you tap that, it will bring up a search bar. And then when you type something into that search bar, you can search it across items, monsters, characters, and all sorts of things all across Foundry. Now, before using Foundry, I was a pretty organized DM, I would say. I used a mixture of Google Drive and Legend Keeper to keep all my notes and everything organized. But when you're using a virtual tabletop, it's quite hard to keep it all organized. And even if you do, you still have to click through all of the different folders to find whatever it is you're looking for, which is why Search Anywhere has really saved me time. Now I just have to tap that one button, start typing, and I can find whatever it is I am looking for nice and easy. And in the settings, you can change the key binding to whatever you want, and you can just search in specific areas. So for example, you could just search items if you know it's an item you are looking for, rather than searching everything at once. So there's some versatility there, and you can also make it so the players can search if you want to give them the ability to search. I generally will keep that turned off and just keep this as a tool for me as the DM to make my life easier. Next, I'm going to talk about a module you've probably already heard of. Most people have heard of this because it really does change Foundry for most people. And this module is called Dice Tray, which adds these icons above the chat box. And then when you click them, it will roll the dice for you. So if you don't use this module, you have to type all of your commands into the chat box. So you would type slash roll a d20 to roll a d20. This module means you can just click the d20 icon and then roll it. And it's as easy as that. And then you can see along the bottom, you can add modifiers as well, add advantage or disadvantage. So you really can do pretty much anything just from those icons. But if there's something you can't do, a lot of people don't realize that there's this icon here just above the chat box that brings up a dice calculator. And this can really give you some control around some maths that you're trying to do with the dice. And it really does come in handy in specific situations. Although I wouldn't say it's something that's gonna come up every single session, but every now and again, it does come in clutch. For example, if you are a player character that had Bless on them and Bane on them, you need to be able to add a D4 and take away a D4. And you could do that from this calculator, but you couldn't do this from the icons just below the chat. So really, I would say this module is a must for most people. It really does add to the game. And even if you don't want to use it, or some of your players do and some don't, they can just ignore it. So for the third module I'm going to give you here, it's actually a little bit of a cheat because they're two modules that work together. And they're the Tidy Sheet 5E and the Token Action HUD. So the Tidy Sheet module makes the character sheet just look a bit nicer and a little bit easier to navigate. Here is what it looks like before the module is added. And here's what it looks like after the module is added. I hope you agree that it looks a bit nicer and it is a bit easier to navigate. But the token action HUD is really what's going to save you and your players most time while in combat in Foundry. This has a function that if you click on your token along the top, an action HUD comes up. So you can do various things like weapon attacks, spells, skill checks, saves, and all kinds of good stuff like that. This saves you from having to double click into the character sheet, go through all of the menus and find what it is that you need. And it also sort of means the shortcut bar along the bottom of the screen is a little bit redundant because everything you could need is in this action HUD. But if it's not, you've still got it there. And as a DM, this also works for your monsters. So you can click on your monsters and you can go to their skills, attacks, spells, whatever it is they have and do it from there rather than having to go into the monster character sheet. And this can really save time, especially if you have eight or more monsters on the go. You don't have to keep clicking into character sheets to do their actions. You can just click their token and do it from the action HUD. If you're getting value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like. It helps show it to more people who this might help. And if you have any questions at all about Foundry, please do put them down in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. Or you can come to my weekly live stream, which is every Sunday at 9pm, where I do an Ask a DM Q&A D&D sort of thing. So come along there and you can get your questions answered live. Right, so now on to number four, and there's not really much to say on this one. It's quite self-explanatory what it does. It's the D&D Beyond Importer. And this just adds a button to Foundry so you can import various things from D&D Beyond. So for example, you can get items across, races, classes, monsters, and some of them are behind a Patreon paywall. So you'll need to go over to Patreon and support the developer in order to get the additional bits. But to be honest, most of it is free, but supporting the developer is always a good thing to do, seeing as they took time out of their day to go and create this and it is extremely useful. And finally, the fifth one I'm going to give to you in this video is probably my favorite, and that's the Loot Sheet NPC. 
And this has two functions really, the first of which is you can make a loot sheet. So you can make a sheet where the players can click into it and then take the loot that they want. So for example, if they kill the goblin, they can double click into the goblin's token and they can take whatever loot they want from the goblin's body. And there's also currency in there as well and you can split it between different players and there's a loot all button if you just want to take everything. And then on the left, you as a DM can give certain players the permissions to be able to go into the sheet and take it. This helps so there's not a race to just double click it, they still have to explain to you that they want to loot and then you can give the right player the permissions. One thing to keep in mind here is sometimes features from the monster or from the character does actually get put into the loot. So you can see here that magic resistance and spell casting have been added to the loot, but you just have to delete them before you give your players permission and then it will be fine. But it's just something to keep in mind. And then the second function of this module is that you can make a merchant with it. And that's just as simple as changing the type of sheet and then the players can click in and exchange the items for gold. Now as a DM, this might actually add a bit of time before the session because you'll have to make sure that A, the gold values are correct and B, you have to make sure that all the items are in the merchant shop. But by putting this time into it before the session, it makes the session run smoother and it saves time for your players. So overall, I would say it is much better. Rather than you having to read out a list or send them a list outside of Foundry and then they might forget what you'd said earlier and be asking loads of questions, you can just give them this merchant sheet and they can read through all of the items, find out what they are, how much they are and then do the exchange. So you as a DM really don't have to do much during the game and my players really enjoyed this and said how enjoyable it was to actually be able to see it, scroll through it and then do the exchange. So there you go, there are the five most useful modules in my opinion. If I've missed any out, do put them down in the comments. I'm always looking for more useful modules that are gonna make my game more streamlined. And if you watch this video, go down in the comments and see what other people are saying as well, because you might get some good tips from there. If you didn't see the first video where I spoke about the five modules that my players liked the most, just click here and it will take you straight through to the video. But until next time, happy gaming.